Good afternoon to those who listen. It's October 9, 2019, 4.42 p.m. And this PG&E thing has really got me... I don't know, I just feel like there's something bad, really super bad is going to happen. I don't know, I just got this really weird feeling. I just know something bad is going to happen. But um, I wanted to hopefully get some... Uh, feedback some comments on people that are actually there going through this there's so many fishy things about this first they said it was 800,000 people now they said that uh you know they counted each uh house as one person or like an apartment building could have many people but they only counted as one now they're saying two and a half million could be without power and it actually could have already happened already it's supposed to be late afternoon it's 243 in california right now on my time you know obviously not it's not by the time you're listening back but i don't know just a lot of weird things about this i don't like it i f- i feel like something's going to happen please say prayers for california a lot of people they're saying it could last up to five to seven days. How are people supposed to live? There's going to be riots. There's going to be looting. And I hate to say, there's going to be some people that are going to get killed from this. So, uh, please say a prayer. For sure. Um, this is from this morning from ABC News. California, this all in an effort to prevent wildfires. It is the biggest plant power shutoff in state history. Another thing, I'm sorry, I had to butt in here again. You know, the they're worried that uh, these high winds are going to cause power lines to, to fall to the ground and spark a fire. You know, what happened five years ago, ten years ago, fifty years ago? Power lines were going to be knocked over and then these high winds where's these high winds coming from and why do they have to keep the power off for seven days do they know in advance that there's going to be winds high winds for seven days straight what's going on here i don't know i'm just getting excited because i I, I just got this weird anxiety about this and i got some other stuff going on too but um this is i don't know this scares me for some reason it really scares me and then we got turkey now well, we won't go into that. And then that mosque got attacked. But there's a lot of weird stuff going on. And it's weird. I mentioned it yesterday that something could happen on October 9th. All right. I don't know. But anyway, this could this be caused from Planet X? Maybe they're worried about the plasma. Didn't get no notice. A lot of you are saying on our Facebook page, yeah, you were not very happy with PG and E at all about the situation. What do Brandon Redman joins us now? Brandon, you've been on top of this stuff for a long time. Yeah. Firepower money. Yep. Uh, the, the governor weighing in that people should be outraged. I, I wonder about that. Is at this point in time for the people gonna lose their food. That's that. what I would worry about. Speaking One of the that, main things. I don't I just don't see the reason why they're doing this really there's I mean there's a there's a reason but their reason is not good enough for me all right thanks for watching I'm sorry I don't want this to go too long but let me know if you live in California you're going through any of this you know how how are you dealing with this you know just give us some info because I've I'm worried about you guys. Please, if you live in California, be safe, be alert, be careful. You never know what can happen. Sorry, let me. Uh, look at this. This is this is just from uh, last night, phase one, and then they adding phase two, which was supposed to be like right around now, sometime. Could have already happened. 
Do you believe that it's the equipment? I read a story that said it was the PG&E equipment that caused the fire. Well, shut down your equipment then. Don't shut everybody else off. All right, sorry, I'm going off again. Thanks for watching. God bless.